Uh, I also rise to uh, address the uh, circular economy uh, waste reduction and recycling uh, bill, and in doing so, um, I'd like to make a, a, an overriding foundational point, uh, straight up, Acting Speaker. Uh, we are Liberals, and we love the environment. Uh, we believe that we are the custodians of our environment, not just for this generation, but for the next. Uh, we, in the uh, Victorian Liberal National Party rooms, take that responsibility very seriously. And uh, those opposite may choose to uh, snigger at that um, statement, but it's, it's a statement of fact. It's a statement of truth. And it's evidenced in a couple of ways, um, uh, Acting Speaker. Uh, back in February uh, 2020, and even before that, in the, on the 24th of November 2019, uh, in this term of opposition, some of the first policies that the Liberal Nationals released were in fact in this space. Um, we wanted to send a very clear uh, and a very uh, conscious signal uh, to those who support us and those who don't, to the Victorian community as a whole, uh, that we believe that matters relating to the environment uh, matters re relating to energy, uh, to renewable energy, uh, and uh, sources of that renewable energy uh, are matters that are important to us as members of the coalition. Uh, on the 24th of November, the uh, Liberal Nationals announced a zero to landfill policy, uh, Acting Speaker. And uh, as many have noted during the course of this debate, uh, we have a choice. Uh, as uh, leaders in our community, we have a choice uh, about what we do in the future with our um, roadside rubbish collection. Uh, do we take responsibility for the rubbish that we create uh, as landfill uh, is uh, uh, consumed and, uh, and more landfill sites are required, uh, or do we dig more holes uh, in the earth uh, to dump our rubbish, and we on this side believe that we should take responsibility for that rubbish, uh, which is why on the 24th of November 2019 we announced uh, this policy, a zero to landfill policy that by 2035 uh, no more roadside curbside waste would be sent to landfill, uh, but rather it would be dealt with in a more responsible fashion. Uh, and in doing so, through a waste to energy facility, it would also create for Victoria a source of energy. Uh, economic activity, uh, Acting Speaker, perhaps in some of those uh, energy intensive regions uh, that are currently the case but may not be in the future, uh, where there is a, a workforce that needs to be uh, afforded um, job opportunities into the future where waste to energy facilities uh, could be established. And I'm thinking uh, especially, uh, Acting Speaker, of the La Trobe Valley uh, when I um, make these comments. Uh, there have been some who, uh, who sought to uh, say uh, that that particular policy was irresponsible uh, and that that policy uh, was um, our only policy uh, in this space, um, noting we are uh, but the opposition, uh, and uh, said that our only policy in dealing with waste was to in fact burn it. Uh, so I did some research, Acting Speaker, on, on this particular uh, matter and I compared uh, using uh, publicly available sources, uh, waste to energy uh, facilities compared with power generation through, for example, brown coal. Uh, and on uh, my research, uh, I found that waste to energy facilities, uh, which aren't, isn't new technology, I might add, which is technology available around the world, perhaps new for Victoria uh, in the scale that I would like to see it advanced, uh, that waste to energy facilities are, are actually a 78 percent more uh, emissions efficient uh, uh, power generation source uh, than power being generated through, through coal. Uh, and then those who say that we shouldn't be uh, dealing with our rubbish through a waste to energy facility and they'd prefer to see it uh, sitting in big stinking piles of rubbish uh, far, from, uh, far from suburbia, I also compared uh, the emissions uh, effect of uh, waste to energy facility compared with landfill and found that the net effect of waste to energy was in fact 92% better uh, than simply digging another big hole uh, in the earth to 
irresponsibly uh, deal with our waste. Um, there is an opportunity here, a real opportunity here, to, be, to take responsibility for the waste that we create. Uh, and that is the commitment of the Victorian Liberals, na Liberal Nationals, and it is a commitment that I am particularly proud of. Uh, we also um, uh, were first mover, Acting Speaker, uh, on a, announcing a container deposit scheme for Victoria. I uh, uh, welcomed uh, the fact that the, the government has also, is also uh, seeking to deliver a waste a container deposit scheme uh, for uh, Victoria. It's an important thing. I, I remember as a, as a young uh, scout, a young cub and a young scout collecting the tins, uh, putting them in the, in the bag and, and taking them to the, to the service station to, to, to do a bit of fundraising for scouts. Well, what a great thing that was. Uh, let that, may, let that uh, continue uh, and let that go from strength to strength in our new uh, economy once again uh, with our environment uh, and responsibil responsibility uh, for our environment and for our future uh, front of mind. Um, Acting Speaker, I'll, I'll also say that uh, the Liberal Nationals aren't just concerned about uh, responsibly dealing uh, with our waste uh, and um, preserving, um, perhaps creating a better environment for not just this generation but the next. But we're also concerned about uh, the importance of um, the generation of renewable energy in our state. Um, and one of the biggest uh, things that we need to give us certainty uh, of renewable energy um, um, supply in this state uh, is um, the development uh, of um, uh, transmission lines, because uh, as you may know, uh, Acting Speaker, um, transmission, inf uh, transmission line infrastructure is something that uh, has not been considered uh, as uh, front of mind uh, for at least four decades in this state. But the challenge that we face is not just generating renewable energy um, in different parts of our state, uh, but transmitting that renewable energy from its source to where it's used on the grid. Uh, and that's going to take a lot of infrastructure. You think that some of the major projects underway in terms of rail and tunnelling and so forth is a, is a big infrastructure project. Well, the establishment of the necessary transmission, power transmission infrastructure that our, states, uh, that our state needs in order to transition to a renewable future uh, is, uh, will be an absolutely massive uh, major project that's essential. A and so, uh, you know, at a different time, uh, but in the same place, Acting Speaker, uh, when I uh, did serve in, the, uh, in the, the Shadow Ministry, I was pleased to announce a policy that brought online 1,800 megawatts of renewable energy uh, onto our state's power grid. Once again, uh, not just virtue signalling, but, but having a, articulating a well considered, in my view, plan that demonstrated the Liberal Nationals' commitment not only to our environment and to our future, but to our renewable energy future as well. Uh, this is who we are as Liberals, this is who we are as Nationals, this is in our DNA and I would encourage anyone listening to this or, or reading this uh, at some point in the future uh, to think nothing of any other comments to the contrary. Uh, just to put that in scale, Acting Speaker, 1800 megawatts of renewable energy. Uh, 1,450 megawatts of renewable energy is what uh, is uh, the output from the Yulorn Power Station, which will be coming offline in 2028-29. And so our commitment was to bring on an additional 1,800 megawatts of renewable energy, uh, around 25% or more of our state's current energy needs uh, through renewable means. Uh, we are serious about uh, this, Acting Speaker. We are serious about this. and. Um, I was pleased to be part of a, a shadow cabinet. I'm pleased to be part of a, uh, of a Liberal Nationals team uh, that is also deeply committed, uh, not only to our environment, uh, not only to the, the protecting and defending our environment for this generation and the next, but also to uh, a renewable energy future as well. And uh, as my colleagues have indicated, uh, the Liberal Nationals will not be opposing this bill.